Number 25, convert the values of KC to values of KP or the values of KP to the values of KC. And then they give us this balanced equation with the KC value at a temperature. So the first thing is, is I'm just going to rewrite this a little bit bigger just so that we could work with it. So I have H2, and that's a gas, plus I2, that's also a gas, and this comes to equilibrium with 2 HI, and that's a gas. Okay, cool. All right, so in this case, all we just have to do is convert the K values. They gave me a KC here. So all we have to do is just convert to a KP value, right? So there's only one formula that you have to know that has both KC and KP in there. It's this formula right here. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just put it on this side so that we could work with it, and then I'll do the math over here. So here's the formula, guys. And since we're trying to solve for KP, I should know all the other things. So we got to use that KC value. They told me that it was 50.2. So I'm going to use that, right? And I'll say 50.2. Next comes R and T. Now R is a constant value. You have to memorize it. When we're using this formula, we're using the 0 0.0821 value for the R, not the 8.314. The 8.314 is used for energy, and the 0 0.0821 is used for gases. Since we're talking about gases and pressures, and KP, P stands for pressure, we got to use this number. T is the temperature in Kelvin. So here's how they make it a little tricky for you guys. They gave you a temperature in Celsius, but in order to plug it into that formula, I need it in Kelvin. But we know how to do that. How do we go from Celsius to Kelvin? All we got to do is just add 273. So calc out, 448. Let's see, 448 plus 273. I get 721 Kelvin. Cool. Now here, delta N gas. So we're basically going to multiply R times T, and then when that's done, we raise it to the delta N gas. Now remember, a delta, just like we saw in delta T, it's a change. In this case, we have to take the N gas of the products minus the N gas of the reactants. So products minus reactants. So what is N? Remember, N is moles a.k.a. the coefficients, but we only care about the gases. So just make sure. Well, here's a gas, here's a gas, here's a gas, so I'm going to be taking all of these into consideration. Now, let's just work from products minus reactants. How many total moles of gas do I have in the products? Well, it's just the coefficients, remember. There was a 2 in front of the HI. That's the only product. So I do have 2 moles of product. Now let's look add it over here, right? I have no number in front of H2, so that means that there is a 1. And I had no number in front of I2, remember that means that it's a 1. They're both gases, so I do have to add them. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So I have 2 moles of gas on my left side, I got 2 moles of gas on my product side, Delta N, products minus reactants, 2 for the product side, minus 2 for the reactant side, is 0. So technically, this number is just going to be 0. Now, I have everything except for what I'm looking for, so now I can just plug it all in. KP equals the KC value which was whatever that was, 50.2. Close that up. Now we're going to multiply R times T, 0 0.0821 times the 721, and we're going to raise it to the delta N. We're going to raise it to the 0. But now, looky here, guys. What, what happens when we raise something to the 0? Oh, it all just cancels out. 
it basically turns into one. Anything raised to the zero power equals one. A really, really big number raised to the zero power equals one. A really, really small number equal to, you know, zero equals one. So since I know that this is going to be multiplied but raised to the first, I could just get rid of it. This doesn't matter. You could obviously do the math as well if you want, but you'll see that it will equal one. And now look here, guys. I, I literally just have KP equal the same number. And that's true. The KP equals the KC in this case. And we've done tons of problems uh, showing that if you do have the same number of moles on the left side as the right side in gas, the KC will equal the KP. And that is it. So there you go, guys. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys are doing well. Let's keep studying hard, and I will see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.